Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Edison 32K Media. Uh, today I have a product review for you guys and I want to thank Julia over at Cycle Tools for sending me this unit. It is a ATD Diag, it's an OBD2 uh, scanner device. This you can actually plug into your car's OBD2 port um, and then you can actually find out what is wrong with your car if your car has an engine light that's on. But what's more awesome about this device is that if you have um, an app such as uh, OBD2 Commander or some aftermarket um, device or app that can connect to the device, you can actually read a lot of PIDs and you can read um, your coolant temperature, you can read your um, engine temperature, you can read your gas mileage, you can read how much fuel you have left in the tank, your AFR, your MAF, etc, um, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So you can get a lot of good readouts just by connecting to this device alone. Now this device here is actually a, uh, it's, it's Wi-Fi, so meaning that you can connect your phone on the same network as this device and you can actually pull up all the readings uh, live time, meaning as you're driving you can actually get like the actual RPM layout of the car or if you're actually, um, you want to find out how hot your coolant is, is at, you can actually pull that up. Um, it's fairly simple, fairly basic. Um, this device also supports iOS, uh, Windows, and Android. So if you have any uh, three of those phones, you can actually use it and they're compatible with that, those three devices. So we're going to take this out of the box and unbox it and give you guys a quick run through of, um, of you know, how well it works. So we're going to connect it to my car. Um, I don't have an engine light on right now, but I'm going to try to like connect it and give you guys readouts of you know the PIDs and, and give you like a, a live uh, feedback of what it's like and the app that I have is called OBD2 Commander so we're going to try that out and uh, see how it goes so let's go ahead and uh, unbox this so I take it out of the box right here it's pretty well packaged pretty uh, small unit um, I would say it's about four or five inches in diameter take it out of the box as you can see this is the unit itself fairly uh, well made. Um, this plugs directly into your OBD2 port on your car and uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect this to my 2018 Honda Civic and we're gonna try to pull up the settings on um, my phone. So this is the, the ATD IAG. This is the ATD IAG OBD2 diagnostic interface and as you guys can tell earlier it works with iOS, Windows, and Android. So, we are going to set it up. So as you guys can see here, the app I use is uh, called Dash Command. Um, I, th I think I bought this for about $10 off of the App Store on iOS. So we're gonna open that up. And this is what it looks like. This is the interface. So once you connect both units on the same network, um, we're gonna go ahead and get all the readings. So let's go ahead and plug this into the car first. So next we're gonna turn the Wi-Fi on our phones. As you can see here, it connected to the OBD2. Make sure it's on the network. Now go ahead and open up the app. And we're gonna hit search or connect right here. So as you can see here, the device has connected and the car is now communicating through the OBD2 device and it's I can pull the readouts on my phone now. So we're gonna pull up dashboards. As you can see here, when I rev the car, it gives you a live readout of the actual um, speed, the RPMs, acceleration, power, torque. Let's go to gas mileage. This, you can actually input and it'll tell you um, how much gas mileage you're getting, how big your tank is. This tells you all the readings, such as fuel consumption, distance traveled, fuel consumed, etc, etc. But my favorite part is actually this one. So this reading tells you exactly how my timing is. So you can tell if your car is running rich or running lean, intake temperature. Um, it takes a few minutes to load that, or sometimes if your car doesn't support the PID, you won't be able to read that. Cooling temperature is awesome too. It tells you um, how hot your, or cold your coolant is and if your car is going to overheat or not. AFR is awesome because a lot of people have to wire in you know, the AFR gauge to actually pull up this device. But with this device, you don't have to wire anything or 
get any, any kind of like um, sensor or anything you just read this directly on your phone and as you can tell 14.5 is, is perfect for an AFR your map it's cool too because you can tell just by reading at this and if you rev it goes up and down mass air, uh, airflow you can also look at this um, you can either change the settings and uh, for manual transmission cars my car is not a manual car but if you go here you can actually change the settings so that when you shift it shows you what gear what speed what rpms you're shifting at and it'll give you a log and read out of it well this app is pretty cool um, if you're going to get an obd2 uh, bluetooth wi-fi device such as the one i have i recommend this app and uh, i really recommend this product because it's really really good and um, it also gives you a readout of your engine um, CEL codes if you have any but I don't have any right now so I can't scan for anything but if you do then you can definitely pick it up there hey guys so that's just a quick little review of the OBD2 port um, wireless device and uh, I hope you guys like the video um, it's very straightforward installed you just install the app on your phone I use uh, command dash command and install the device on your OBD2 port and make sure that it's plugged in and connected to the same device so connect your Wi-Fi uh, device as it's called OBD2 or Wi-Fi OBD2 and then connect open up your app on your phone and you should be able to connect them by pairing them on the same network and then you're good to go you get tons tons of readout there's a bunch of apps out there that support um, this unit so just make sure you pick one that's suitable for you and if you guys have any questions please post a comment below or um, you know send me an email etchison 32 k at gmail.com and I'll be happy then to reply to you guys and thank you again to Julie for providing me with this device to review. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And it, I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to check out the website and a link to Amazon so you guys can purchase it if you need. And um, that's, a good, that's it for my video today. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.